Pod shattering is the main means of seed dispersal in the legume family. The legume family includes nearly 20,000 species, making it the third largest family of flowering plants. Approximately 40 different species in the family have been domesticated for their nutritious and protein-rich seeds, which are also called pulses. Despite the importance of pod shattering in the wild, the process is problematic for harvest, and a reduction in pod shattering was a nearly universal part of pulse domestication. Today, some pulse crops continue to express pod shattering, which is exacerbated by hot and dry conditions. New research is elucidating the genetic basis of these changes and offers insight into how the process can be controlled in the increasingly arid conditions of coming decades. Pod shattering is the result of contraction of drying pod wall fibers, which pull at a central breaking point. This contraction and coiling of wall layers can be seen in this time lapse of fractured pods when left in a warm, dry environment for two hours. In this cross section of the area where breaking occurs, we can see lignified and waxy tissue shown in green, while cell wall material that is not reinforced with lignin is shown in blue. A relatively weak dehiscence zone is found in the middle of this area, and breaking occurs through the region shown by the red dotted line. The lignified wall material pulls at the breaking region from each direction. In wild legumes, the strength of this tension is enough to break the cells at the central dehiscence zone, and shattering occurs. During domestication, a reduction in pod shattering was often achieved by selecting for mutants with reduced pod wall tension. Other mutations have caused an increase in strengthening of the dehiscence zone, allowing it to withstand tension without breaking. In wild legumes, the lignified wall layers are often extremely thick and create significant tension on the dehiscence zone. In domesticated legumes, the wall fiber layer is often reduced or absent entirely and there may not be a clear dehiscence zone. The genetic mechanisms underlying pod shattering show some patterns of similarity between domesticated species. A relatively small group of genes, such as relatives of the transcription factor MIB26 or the dirigent protein pod dehiscence 1, have repeatedly been targets of mutation across species. These evolutionary insights suggest that the genetic basis of plant evolution may be fairly predictable, with a few major genes impacting variation of important traits. Further, the frequency of shattering-related mutations is related to environment across several species, with land races from arid environments selected for stronger resistance to pod shattering. These results suggest that in shattering-susceptible legumes, pyramiding of these several genes will likely be needed to provide robust resistance to pod shattering as climate conditions become increasingly arid. Ultimately, these results will help guide genomics-informed breeding of crops that can withstand the arid conditions of coming decades.